We need to talk about this, guys. Let's dive in. Hey guys, it's Joan. Welcome back to Trauma Talk. So this book, Pure, it's called Inside the Evangelical Movement That Shamed a Generation of Young Women and How I Broke Free. I could not put it down. I read, listened to the audiobook, which is a nine hour audiobook in a day and a half because I could not stop listening to it because it connected with me so strongly. And I don't mean to hark on one issue. If you don't connect with purity culture, if you don't know what it's about, I released a video that I'll link in the description of this um, a few days ago that talked about purity culture and what it is and how it has affected people. And I also think that purity culture is a traumatic thing. And I am recently realizing the effects of it in my own life and talking about things helps me process them. And so I wanted to talk a little bit more about this and also about how it relates to trauma on a larger scale and how I think I have attributed things to trauma that don't necessarily belong only in that category. Let me explain what I mean. I have felt so much shame and guilt over being a sexual being, over sex and sexuality for as long as I can remember. And I have attributed that during the past seven years, which is when I've, you know, after abuse and when I've been in counseling to sexual assault, to the abuse I went through because basically every sexual experience I had was an abusive one. And I'm realizing now that though that is true, so much of the shame and the guilt that I feel is from purity culture, is from the culture that I was raised in, the messages that I heard repeated and repeated growing up from a young age all throughout my adolescence, through very formative years. I heard over and over again how about how you have to keep yourself pure until marriage about how your virginity is the most important thing in the world, about how you're essentially worthless if you used it. I heard horrible analogies used to describe women who didn't keep themselves pure until marriage and how you were responsible for not causing men to stumble. So if a guy did something to you, it was your fault for dressing the wrong way, acting the wrong way, so on and so forth. And if you did not fall into a very specific box of sex and sexuality, you were bad, you were wrong, you were dirty. And I still feel shame over being a sexual being. And, and in the church, in the purity movement, you couldn't ask questions, you couldn't talk about it, you couldn't anything. There was no education except don't do it till you're married. If you do it, anything about it, if you experiment, if you anything, like you're a bad person, you're dirty, you're wrong, you need to get on your knees and ask for forgiveness. And I'm, I'm realizing that I've lumped a lot of stuff into the box of one kind of trauma to domestic violence and sexual assault and sexual abuse. That's what I went through. I'm, I'm attributing all of the shame and the guilt that I went to to this one thing. I have not thought outside the box. And so if I'm focusing all my effort on trying to heal from trauma from one, not one thing, but from one situation, from one relationship, when really there's a lot of other factors I'm, I'm limiting myself, I'm limiting the amount of healing that I'm gonna do and I'm missing factors. And I wanted to talk about that today because I wonder that that isn't common. I have no idea, but I've just been thinking about that, about how there's a lot of things that influence how we process trauma, how we process everything, how we process life and what we've been through and that maybe we, how, how we respond to things and what we're feeling and the triggers you have and, and so on and so forth, maybe spend some time thinking outside the box in your healing journey and you know thinking about what else could have impacted that. Or not, I'm just throwing a suggestion out there because this book that really addressed the damage that is done in purity culture, and I was thinking about that idea before I even read this book, just opened my eyes to a whole other world of where some of the shame and guilt could have been coming from. And it was really helpful for me to start unraveling that because then I could start looking in the correct source for where that shame and guilt is coming from instead of targeting something that does hold shame and guilt, you betcha, but doesn't hold all of it, if that makes any sense. Sorry if I'm talking fast. I'm just really passionate about this. And if you were raised in purity culture and heard all these messages about staying pure and how you're dirty and horrible and wrong and sex is bad and awful and all of that, 
I would really recommend buying this book, listening to it, reading it, digesting it. It is truly really helpful. It was really helpful for me to realize that like I am not alone in a lot of the symptoms that I'm experiencing after purity culture. And I started a, a group, it's called Dismantling Purity Culture on Facebook. Feel free to request to join if that is something that you have experienced as well because I don't know what to do with it yet. I don't know what to do with these experiences. I'm just kind of trying to figure it out and piece it apart and I'm looking for discussion on that. So, sorry for the rambling video. I just am just realizing that there's more strings to the shame and guilt that I have experienced for years than I thought there were. And in some ways that's really frustrating and, and in other ways I think that's a bit of a eye opener and a relief to think that, you know what, no, I can, there are different angles that I can focus on and, and I can piece this apart and I can figure it out and get to a better place. Thanks for hanging in there and watching this video and listening, guys. Hit subscribe. If purity culture doesn't connect with you, I promise that's not all I talk about. I've just done a couple videos about it. Like I said, I'll link the other one. I'll also link an unlisted video that I did. I spoke publicly about purity culture at a recent event. If you're interested in seeing that, um, I, like I said, it's an unlisted video and I'll link it in the description below. Check it out if you're interested. Thanks guys, you're amazing as always. I appreciate your watching this and your subscription. If you haven't subscribed, make sure you do before you leave. Leave me a comment with what you think about purity culture. If this is something you were raised in, I look forward to reading your comments and I'll see you soon. Take care of yourselves, bye.